Her name is Ola Queso. She was brought to the United States by her mother from Albania in 1998 when she was five years old. Ola is a senior in high school in Warren, Michigan. She's a valedictorian of her class. She's taken every advanced placement class offered by her school. She has a 4.4 grade point average, a very bright young lady. Ola is on the varsity cross country and tennis teams, treasurer of the student council and treasurer of the National Honor Society at her school. She tutors students who are learning English. Ola was also a member of the homecoming court. This is a great picture. Here's a picture of her at her high school at homecoming. And she sent me a letter. She's been accepted into the honors program at the University of Michigan, where she will be a pre-med student. Here's what her letter said. I aspire to ultimately becoming a surgical oncologist, but more importantly, I intend to work for patients that cannot afford the astronomical fees accompanying life-saving surgery, patients that are denied the medical treatment they deserve. My goal is not to increase my bank account. My goal is to decrease preventable death. I wish to remain in this country to make a difference. Do we need her? You bet we do. Two months ago, Ola Queso was placed in deportation proceedings. Just like Juan Gomez and many other DREAM Act students, Ola's friends decided to rally behind her. Senator Carl Levin, a co-sponsor co -sponsor of the DREAM Act, asked the Department of Homeland Security to reconsider her case. This week, the department granted a stay of deportation to give her a chance to continue her education. That was the right thing to do. It makes no sense to send someone like Ola, who is, has so much to contribute to America, to a country she barely, barely remembers.